What's going on guys? This is Mike Tars and we're going to be going over the GTX Bamboo Skateboard from Evolve. So we're going to go into it right now. So let's talk about the structure of the board. First, the wood. The wood on the board feels strong, flexible when you go over bumps on the road and a comfortable ride. I also like the design of the octagon grip tape that's on the board. I like the design, the paint on the back of the board. Overall, it's, I like the, uh, the way they designed it. The trucks on the board have an interesting design to them. They have double bushings. I'm not sure whether or not to have more control on the board or how much of a turn you want to do because this board can allow you to carve and I think that's the purpose of the board. And of course, for fun and cruising around. The motors on this board are really strong. At first I was kind of hesitant to think that it would go up a 25% gradient hill according to what Evolve was saying, but it actually did. And I like the design, how they put the motors in the back instead of on the, on the ground level. In other words, on the bottom of the board. When you hit a pothole, you don't want the motors to get hit or broken or scratched or whatever. So it's definitely a good thing that they put them up on the back of the board to avoid that. The wires on the board that come out from the back plate that's under the board, they're very neatly um, parallel to each other, going to each motor on the board. They're also protected. I'm not sure if they're weather sealed, but they're definitely protected by uh, any debris that kicks up at it. But overall, good design on the wiring. Let's talk about the wheels. The all-terrain wheels have a more comfortable ride since they're pumped up with air. 50 pounds of air in each tire. Any lower than that will shorten the range of the distance you want to go with the board. Although I haven't tried a range test with these wheels, but I do know I rode the board pretty hard and I got at least 14 miles out of the 18 that they claim that it does. However, the claim is when you're in eco mode. The street wheels are really awesome. I like them because you could ride faster with them. Only downfall is they don't really hold up too well if you go over really big puddles or anything like that, although I tried to avoid them. They're a little bit slippery but for more controlled carving. Although I really wasn't too into carving, but now I am, it's just a matter of getting better at it. I've done at least 25 miles an hour with these wheels, which is pretty damn fast. I did do a range test with these wheels, and I got up to 30 miles in eco mode, which is pretty impressive. Although I, my feet were sort of sore after that, and it was still a fun ride, no doubt about it. Both wheels, all-terrain and street, accelerate really fast on the board. Although it's a different ride on each all-terrain and street. All-terrain is definitely a more comfortable ride since it has air pressure in it. The street wheels have a much harder ride to it since they're hard rubber wheels. Being that they're hard rubber wheels, you gotta watch out for certain surfaces. If the concrete is not like fresh pavement and depending on how the, the kind of pavement that you're riding over or if there's gravel or sand you can easily slip and fall which I pretty much discovered and thankfully I was going pretty slow when it happened. I rolled over and hit my head but I had my helmet on otherwise I pretty much would have been dead at that point and that's not fun. The top speed I got with the wheels, the old terrain I got 23 miles an hour and the street wheels I got 25 miles an hour. It also depends on your weight and which will vary the top speed. But the lighter you are, the faster you will go. So let's talk about the remote. So the remote to the board is very reliable. Being that I drove or had the confidence to get up to 25 miles an hour was enough to trust it enough with my life basically at that point. <laughs> I haven't had any issues as far as any uh, disconnection, although I did run into uh, a situation where it would kick out of GT mode and go to safe mode. So I got in touch with Evolve and they told me to reconnect it to the board, resync it, and when I start the board up, don't move the board or press the trigger on the remote and all the problems disappeared at that point. So it's been incredibly reliable. No disconnections out of nowhere. The brake works excellent on the board, speed, and it's sort of like a RC remote. So in conclusion, 
The pros on this board is that it's well built, strong, holds a charge, battery's reliable, the remote to the board is reliable, the connection. The ride is smooth, sturdy, the design is excellent. The only con I have with the board is the price point, although it can be easily weighed enough that it's worth it if you use it all the time. Then you don't have to pay for public transportation and own a car with insurance and gas and maintenance. So it might be worth it in the end. Would I recommend this board? Yeah, definitely. This board is awesome. I would definitely buy another board from Evolve. If you like this video, like, comment, and subscribe. Thanks for watching.